We are following breaking news out of Tulsa, Oklahoma this morning, the site of the nation's latest mass shooting. Police say a gunman killed four people on a hospital campus before turning the weapon on himself. This morning, we're learning new information on the investigation. The police captain says the attack was not random, and a city council member believes the gunman was looking for a specific doctor. This is the 233rd mass shooting of the year after a massacre at a school in Texas and a rampage at a supermarket market in New York. Aaron Nolan is live at the scene in Tulsa this morning with the very latest. Aaron. Ruta Bay, the scene this morning quite different than what happened late last night as we arrived on the scene. The police presence here not quite as intense as what we saw yesterday. But as you mentioned, the investigation continues into the St. Francis Medical Center behind me as to why a man walked into this hospital, killed four people before turning the gun on himself. And that's kind of the question here why it happened. Police did say that there was a motive. They haven't released exactly why. Hopefully, we're going to find out more later today. This morning, Tulsa, Oklahoma is the latest city dealing with a mass shooting. As you can see, that is St. Francis Hospital. Wednesday night, police say a man carrying a rifle and a handgun killed four people before shooting and killing himself. Patients and staff are believed to be among the victims, but police have not identified them yet. Oh my God, he's getting his rifle out of his trunk. They're all getting their rifles. Police say it took them three minutes to respond to the call, and within five minutes, police made contact with the shooter. The officers that did arrive uh, were hearing shots in the building, and that's what directed them to the second floor. It's a catastrophic scene in there now. The shooting was contained to the second floor of the Nadley building on the St. Francis Medical Center campus. It houses an outpatient center, a breast health center, among other doctors' offices. Police say part of the shooting happened in an orthopedic center. They were rushing people out. I don't know if some of them were injured or just uh, had been injured during the shooting, but some of them couldn't walk very well, but they were just kind of wobbling and stumbling, getting them out of there. Law enforcement says the unidentified shooter is a black man between the ages of 35 and 40. We're also learning police were in Muskogee, about 50 minutes southeast of Tulsa, investigating reports of a possible bomb in a home they believe may be connected to the shooter. However, no explosives were found. We're an organization that believes in the power of prayer. And there is nothing more this community could do for us than to pray for the families and the loved ones and the victims of this senseless act. But new photos overnight are showing the moments loved ones were reunited at a nearby high school. A police officer comforting a person crying on the ground. Another person wiping away tears. Now, this campus is sacred ground for our community. For decades, this campus has been a place where people have come to work, heroes have come to work every day to save the lives of people in our community. St. Francis has canceled most appointments before noon today, and the wing of the hospital where the shooting happened has been closed. Again, a press conference scheduled for 1015 today in Ruta Bay. We're hoping to get a few more questions answered. Such a terrifying ordeal for these people. Do we know how many people were actually inside the building and how they got out? Well, right now, police have not given us much indication as to how many people were in the wing of that hospital when the shooting happened. But in a phone interview, we do have a little bit more information. This was a phone interview with the New York Times. Gannon Gill, a physician's assistant, says he guided patients through a maze of exam rooms and hallways away from the gunfire. Gill eventually made his way to a nearby parking lot. He ran into a patient. That man told Gill they ran into the gunman during the attack, and the shooter told the couple to leave, and he was not there for them. Gill also told the Times, you see these types of shootings all the time. We've talked about how many mass shootings we've had in America, but this man says you never expect it to hit quite this close to home. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.